been through Momo's Wildlands. I haven't had an update in a while due to uh, surgery I had to go through. I was hoping to have everything done by the end of January, but uh, first operation didn't work. So I had to go back for a second, and now I'm out of... Uh, out of it till the end of February. Uh, with COVID and everything, I guess it's a good thing it's happening now. Because I can't go and do anything anyway. So, that's why I haven't seen any videos. I have a whole bunch of stuff I'm working on in here in my shop. But, uh, with the uh, surgery on my leg, just haven't, haven't been able to get out here. Uh, this is the uh, first or second time that I've been out here. I have a few projects, like I said, that are in the works. I uh, am dying to go up to the property to do some snowshoeing and to see what's happening there. Um, yeah, so that's about it. I, I bought some uh, Cooksa carving knives for carving cups and spoons. So hopefully I'll be able to use those. Um, started a uh, Instagram channel. Uh, yeah, finally reached 100 subscribers, so I'm happy about that. I uh, want to do a few, uh, few more uh, videos on the uh, reloading side. I want to do some bushcraft skills. I want to actually go out in the bush. But uh, that will have to wait. little story in uh, how I ended up uh, getting surgery and uh, might be a point to note for uh, all you outdoorsmen and that is when you get so tired you don't think straight. What happened originally is we had three or four days of deer hunting and for us that normally meant like 16 hour days, very little sleep. Uh, of course, you're not having full meals. It's hard to keep the fluids up. So my son shot a deer last day, uh, pretty much just the sundown. So everyone took off because it was Friday night. Uh, I was trying to get the deer up in the shed. I have an eye up there in the, uh, in the attic space normally have a ladder that I go up and more or less what happened is my ladder is normally in two hooks up there so I can just willy nilly run up and down and stupid me I had moved it over so I could get the deer antlers out of the way well I got up moved the deer around and I didn't think because I was so tired so worn out I wasn't thinking straight and I stepped on the top step to run down like I normally do. And the ladder kicked out and I more or less fell from the second floor all the way down to the first floor on top of the ladder. So and then it took three years for uh, smacking around my uh, family doctor to finally find me a surgeon who will do the surgery. What ended up happening from the fall I got what they call a morale lavalie. And it's more or less internal degloving. I'll throw up a uh, M MRI and all what that means is that all your veins all your arteries in a certain spot get torn away just a, like a degloving and it all fills full of fluid and if your doctor doesn't catch that the fluid will stay there it's not like a uh, so a little bit of internal bleeding which get, will get reabsorbed and stuff. But anyway, so I dealt with it for three years. Had a big bulge on the side of my leg. It was very uncomfortable. And uh, finally found a surgeon. Finally got uh, scheduled in. COVID hit. Surgery got delayed. Went through with the first surgery. Although I asked for it, the uh, surgeon did not put a drain in. Fluids reaccumulated. Went back to the doctor, stuck me with a scalpel, drained it out. Went back home, filled with a fluid again. So he scheduled me in for a second surgery. Uh, this time he put some internal stitching in. 
and you put a drain in. And it looks like it's working. I still have a small hump, but uh, it looks like it's working now. Um, 25 staples later, they'll be taking them out next week. So I can't do too much on this leg. I don't want anything to go wrong with it because I can't wait another six, seven weeks for all this to heal up. So anyway, that's my story. Um, so if you're out and you're tired, and you know you haven't been eating right, sleeping right, eating right, take your time. Um, watched a lot of Alone, and it's always when the accidents happen. You know, it's that one stupid moment, one stupid thought. You're not thinking straight because you're tired, you're hungry. Um, yeah, so that's a point really worth noting that you really have to start understanding if you're going to do all this outdoor stuff, survival stuff, you really have to start understanding your body as one of the main things. So anyway, lots of stuff to come up. Um, hopefully you'll join me and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.